Okay, take two. I uh, apparently I I, I turned off the, the camera while I was filming the, the last one, but <clears throat> what is up, YouTube? Take two. This is Mike Samurai Geek Designs. Uh, again, before I go any further, I want to take the time to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel here. Um, I like to keep it pretty modest. I don't. Well, you know, every once in a while, I, I find out that I do have a tendency to go on these rants that I need to edit out later on. But um, typically, they're just in response to some of these other guys who are doing models, and uh, you know, in particular, Brad, Bad Grendel's John. Uh, every once in a while, John has a rant video, and then I, I kind of participate. Next thing you know, I'm like throwing things against the wall and angry about it. So. Anyway, not really, but, you know. Um, but here, this is where I'm at on the 12500 scale Enterprise E. The decals have been going on. Uh, I will say, I will say that there are some registration keys here that are a little off. And, I, you know, I tried to, f to, to play with this a little try to get it on there a little easier a little better but when you line up this detail here you end up being short on this end and then having this line right here that does not oh I'm sorry this line in here that does not line up with the step up on the the, the molding here so get it in real close right there you can see I'm off and off and up front, uh, lined up, it goes down really easily. I thought this one might have been a little short too, but actually it lined up right there, right along the where it's supposed to. This one, you get a gap right there as soon as you pinch in the decal for this um, divot right here. And again, over here on this side, I'm, I'm kind of glad that they lined up evenly, but we still need some need to get that decal to lay down a little lower right here and here but again same thing here they did not register correctly and you're short by about eh, a little more than I'm sorry that's a little less than a quarter of an inch so uh, these also down here on the hull right here they went down pretty pretty nicely as you can see I'm still a little off but then once you look at the detail I'm actually dead on there so in certain spots the the decals do not line up I was a little suspicious of it before I before before I ever go out and start criticizing a kit criticizing any aspect of a kit I am going to try to debunk whether or not there was a flaw in my in my application or whatever you know I before I place the blame on somebody else I'm going to do my best to make sure it wasn't me that just screwed up rather than going you know having a knee-jerk reaction to say I don't know using some of the uh, Aztec dummy masks using them the wrong way and then complaining that it peeled off your paint and and totally trashing Aztec Dummy's work. You know, I, I don't know the guy from Aztec Dummy, but I know the products, and if you use them correctly, they they do wonders. If you use them incorrectly, they can destroy your model. So there's a there's there's a right way to use the the dummy masks and a wrong way. And if you use them the wrong way, do not go on the internet and trash the guy's work. That's all I'm saying. You know, especially if you're you're a person who is a small garage kit owner, manufacturer yourself, and you don't want the same bad pub coming your way, then don't trash somebody else's work. You know, I just think fair is fair, but I will say the decals are a little off on this kit. <laughs> Especially around here, you know, they don't quite line up. They're a little longer than they should be if you're supposed to trim off the ends. 
they should mention that in the de in the directions but you get a little you, you're, you can end up right on the money here move it along move it along and you will not find out that you're off until you get to this end uh, this decal here in the center was one long strip from here to here and I cut it in half right about there laid it down was on target for most of you know what I, yeah I mean, there's a line right there too so I'm, I'm right on there until I laid the decal on this way the second part of the decal coming this way and there's a, an overstep so you unless you want the dark line you gotta move it over so little off on the decals here 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 there was a little uh, I was a little off here on, on the bottom here but again this part I don't know if is my fault or not this is gonna this model is also gonna have a beauty uh, side so it's gonna be like this on the wall mounted base uh, this one is gonna be uh, well this is gonna be the E in a ships of the line enterprise diorama all I need now is the Enterprise C to complete the set, but what I was thinking of doing is having them like a spectrum. You know, like with the classic Enterprise on the other side like this, leading to the re refit that's slightly tilted, Enterprise B, C, D, and then finally E. So now that I've kind of messed up one side, I think I'm going to go go ahead and do that. And uh, if you could see right here, you could see or my decal is slightly off on this side and you can see some of the damage occurred while uh, trying to get it laid down my mistake here because I tried to the decal sheet gives you one side of the decal all in one piece and um, anybody building this I'm going to strongly suggest well it, it's always su strongly suggested but anything longer then about three four inches is gonna have to be cut especially if it's on going over a, a detailed curved surface like this but first one going down I laid it down all in one piece started laying it down over here correctly by over here it skewed had to re realign it and when I did I moved it over here was fiddling with it it wrinkled and now it's set and crooked over here on this side so Again, that is not the kit's fault, that is my fault. So lessons learned, everything else was cut in half, and uh, there may, may be a slight overstep on some of these pieces, but it is minute enough to get away with it. So I, again, I suggest cutting the, these longer uh, decals in half, like, as, like most guys do anyway, but I thought I could be... I overstepped my bounds, basically, so... That is it for this one, guys. I have to go check my young boy who just got home last night. Just woke up. I'm going to go check on him. Go have some fun with that kid. Uh, you guys have a good Labor Day weekend. I hope everything goes well. I hope everyone stays safe. Uh, don't drink and drive. Watch out for the other drunk drivers. Be safe. Have fun, guys. See you later.